Monday, the 18th, 4 7 48. Almost halfway through the 47s, and a little bit more than halfway through September. Uh, real fall is going to be here any day. It's actually technically the summertime, but they're uh, advertising it in other ways you wouldn't know if I didn't say it right. That's not what TV says. It started already. Um, I got some things about this, but I'm gonna. Oh, you hear that sound? Oh, I was getting lost in my in my my section was running out. Over here, here, and here's the. I think I'm somebody else. Here's the thing. Whoa! Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live. Uh oh, I lost my, my thing. I'm going to have to find it again when it flies in, then I'm going to grab it. This is the pattern I want to do. Um, it's, uh, oh, that was, that was a zoom. I want the flying in one, though. I don't know how to program it, so i got to catch it when it comes through the demo. It's uh, Monday, and I'm, well, there was a double one. How does that one work? I made it all the way back here around, though, while well, I'm flying around. I'm getting a little bit sick. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Did I catch it? Yeah, I did. Oh, now I'm like flying in slowly. Like slowly leave. Whoa! And then when I think I start moving quicker. Yeah, that's my new one. That's the new one for now. Oh, uh, maybe I don't know. I kind of like flying better. Where's the flying one? The same Oh, no, not that one. Same one as before. I'm going to look for it. Where am I? Oh, nope, nope. I'm waiting for the flying one. It's got to be the same. Or it's got to be the same exact one, and then when I can grab the pattern number. Oh, there's all these pattern numbers. I'm gonna get like the book and the um, wipe pattern. The um, oh, I don't think. I mean, there's thousands of them. Maybe that was an old one, so I'm gonna have to find. If I want to find the same one, let's go back to the. Oh, there. That was a pretty good one. There. Now it's. Oh, uh, was that the same one? I think that might be the same one. This one is number three thousand four hundred and twenty-one. Uh, with a different color the outside there blue gray how about teal or light blue where's light blue there uh, I'm light blue now light blue color whoa whoa, whoa. yeah flying it out um yeah wasn't that a good time viewers Monday what's happening who are you? Where am I? Why? Uh, I got some food. Oh my god. Oh man, where is real? Where am I? Things are getting ridiculous in the world. Let me tell you. Um, it's the Yakuba Eve. So it's, I guess the last day of this thing. It's kind of like New Year's Eve in a way. But, uh, my new plan for Hayakuba is to relax and just do the regular thing. We'll see how, I mean, maybe Freddy has another plan, but my plan is, the the best plan really is just to just come in and do take it easy and not, not decide anything. Um, cause, I mean, there's a lot of things. I th we've done that in the past. Sometimes you do things, sometimes you don't do things. We don't need to do things all the time. But I am feeling the thing. This is why it's it's now. Hayakuba is now because it is the changing of the seasons. It's getting cold out. Like, summer is over. And it's right around um, the, the, I think it's the Jewish New Year's. And maybe the, one of the Chinese New Year's might be around this time as well it's truly the new year i think that like uh regular new year or roman new year white people new year it's not a good time for the new year it's like right in the middle of winter it's like why would this be the new year right now is the new year or the beginning maybe spring or now not december 31st in the middle of winter that's crazy so crazy and nobody questions um, the column, bro. So for me, I'm the only one ever crossing the column. Um, 
tired. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired. Of, I need some support. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm having difficulty eating a little bit. I'm spilling a little bit on myself. I'm I'm Mm-hmm. One day. Do you think? At all? I didn't think a whole lot between yesterday and today. This was Sunday weekend. Today's Monday. Regular days. Um yesterday I was talking to Tyler and Yellow Fellow. Tyler moved to Detroit or something. And Yellowfell is moving out of his halfway house into a maybe three quarters away house. I'm in a full, I'm just in a regular house, 100% house. Yellowfell is bouncing around. Um, yeah. Like, like, wake up in a room full of other people. And. Hey, you guys, what do you guys think about not drinking today? Oh, it's a good plan. I don't know what they're doing, but... Um... Yeah, it's a group home. Um, but yeah, if I was moving on to some other group home, I guess. Mmm, I got Far East. Yesterday I got, like, kind of not great food. Um... It was weird. There's like stuff in there I didn't really like. I really like this food. Especially you just shove it in your face. Like some food. And I have over there I didn't really want to eat. So I was like picking at it. Trying to get to the noodles and stuff. This one you just shove it in your face. And you feel good about it afterwards too. Um, I'm going back to the movies. But I'm, I decided not to eat popcorn. Because... I've been going to so many movies recently, and I'm not sure if I like movies or popcorn. And I kind of like, I didn't eat popcorn for a long time. And then recently I was like, I'm just going to eat popcorn every single time I go. And then I started eating, like going to a lot of movies, and I'm like, oh, I want to go to the movies. But what if I'm just like addicted to Flavacol? Uh, so, I'm going to go see this movie without eating popcorn. And so how I feel physically and emotionally. And I'll say, did I like, did I even enjoy this movie? Or was I just trying to shove food into my face? Um, and what's the difference? So, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, why not just get sick anyway? Um, <laughs> Uh, what am I trying to do? Who am I trying to impress? Oh, no, in popcorn, I'm not getting sick. I just lay around going, Ugh. I'm just a glutton. I just want to eat so much. I mean, I, <laughs> the whale? Am I the whale? I don't know. It seems like the whale. I mean, he did kill himself with eating food, and not like I'm like uh, trying to do that. Cause I could try harder to eat myself to death. But I might be eating myself to slightly uncomfortableness and then, you know, I deserve this. <laughs> I, do, I'm a, I, you know, I, this is what I did. This is who I am now. So maybe I'm going to try to do things. Not eating a giant large popcorn myself while sitting in a the theater getting sick. Um, but I'm still going to go. But I'm going to uh, practice restraint. And uh, I'm telling you about it now because otherwise it's hard to hold myself accountable. Like, why are you telling everybody this? Because you got to be accountable for things when you're doing stuff. So here is my accountability exercise. Yeah, tomorrow's Ayakaba, but I don't feel like I have the time for it. Maybe Freddie does. But we never did call uh, TCTV. We can call them right now. I bet they're pretty open. But I'm not going to call them right now. Um, I might call them in 10 minutes when couch time is over. We'll call Freddy. We'll call my brother. Call my brother, call Freddy. 
I don't know what time. My brother's working night time now. He's working late, kind of late night. Nine to two. Uh, I'm working the daytime. Nine to five. It's like almost opposite times. Um, but I'm going to be at this movie. Probably probably two hour movie. I don't know. I didn't look at the time. And I lost my watch. My favorite watch. I lost it like, like three weeks ago now. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of upset about it, really. Um, I don't know where it is, but eventually I'll find it, and then I'll, will I be excited when I find it, or is I'm going to experience happiness, or I'm just going to be like, oh, well, there it was, you dummy. I don't know where it could have been. I dropped, uh, I've been knitting. Um, I took up a new hobby of knitting. I didn't have enough hobbies. So now I'm knitting, um, and I've been knitting a baby blanket. I'm calling it a baby blanket, and I'm going to give it to a baby. I know a few babies. I'm going to give one of them a blanket. Um, and then, um, when when I'm done with that, I, maybe i got to give it to the smallest baby I know, which I think it's almost not, not going to be a year old, but uh, you know, say I, I need to do this, bl- this baby blanket. Um, And then I dropped my needle, though. I was, like, looking for my knitting, my uh, heroin needle for heroin. Have you seen my needle? What kind of needle? Uh, A knitting needle. It's for knitting, I mean. Uh, Excuse me, officer. Have you seen my uh, 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 knitting needle? I mean, knitting needle. Um, they call it a needle, it's not very sharp, it is a little bit sharp. It's sharp enough that I've been poking my finger with it every time because it's like part of the act, but now i got to stop because I think I'm poking it too much, too much poking. So, um, I'm going to take it easy with the poking. Um, but, uh, I dropped the needle and it ended up somehow behind the couch. My brother knows how to find the thing. So I was looking around for the needle. My brother found it like immediately. I told him to find my watch. He was the one that found that video game controller after I'd lost it for months. So I think the watch is going to sh- sift. How long is it going to take? Like, do I buy a backup watch or I never take off the other watch? Like, not allowed. Or like having a place. <laughs> how about this? Having a place for things? What a, what a thought. Hey, this is where I store my things. Um, what if I did that? That would be wild. Maybe, I mean, before I can store, I gotta start inventorying. Got so many things. And I don't know where they all go. Right now, there's a lot of boxes just full of things. So maybe, yeah, start inventorying. You got some shelves. Yesterday, after a program on Sunday, I uh, went home to my residence. Go, go lay my head, watch some TV, do a little bit of sleeping, a little bit of drawing. On Sundays, I'm drawing, a little bit of knitting, drawing, TV. Um, I should be looking for the watch, but I'm organizing. Instead of organizing my things, I bought a thing of yarn and some knitting needles, and I'm organizing this yarn into a baby blanket. And then I'm going to give it to a baby, and I'm going to say, I I, I did this for this baby, not because of um, uh, 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 fidgety, of being fidgety. Um, You don't need a fidget. Um anything cube mm, spinner any of these things if you got knitting I almost wanted to get a revolver because I keep thinking about <laughs> I was watching the deer 
the deer hunter. It's like Russian roulette, the movie. And then I was going to get this revolver. But it's not a good idea to buy a revolver. Um, because they are dangerous. But uh, instead I got a knitting needle. But I think I'm just going to get a fidget spinner. Spin the fidget spinner. Uh, pretend. But, uh. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe we, instead of the numbers, we'll get a dice again and play fake Russian roulette. Uh. You want to play fake Russian roulette and then you roll the dice. Um. And then it's like, well, you've blasted out your face. Like Christopher Walken in The Deer Hunter. Um. Came down here, just went to work in the morning, did the whole working thing on Monday. It's Mondays! Oh man, anybody else having a, d a Monday? Other people are having a Monday today. There's the pills. I saw the camera angle. Hey, oh, you guys having a Monday? I'm having a hell of a Monday, let me tell you. Oh man, isn't it Monday? Uh, so it's another Monday. Uh, at least it's like medium weather out. Even show this mystery movie. I'm gonna go watch this mystery movie. It's rated R. Um, and I'm not gonna eat popcorn there. Nope. I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna eat. I don't know. Taco Bell's probably just as bad. But I'm eating this Far East now. Maybe nothing. What if I eat nothing during the movie? It'll be a stretch. Or I mean, they got hot dogs at the movie theater. Should I buy a hot dog? Maybe I'll buy a hot dog at the theater instead. Or... Yeah, some other kind of food. Maybe a hot dog. Now I'm thinking about movie theater hot dogs. Are they good? I never had them. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to stretch my movie theater food legs. Try movie theater hot dog. Um... And well, I think my brother might be working, but we'll call him anyway. It's only about two minutes left, and then I'm going to try to call Freddy and confirm with the um, the plan of, of doing nothing. Maybe he has a better plan. I mean, I doubt it's better, but maybe he has an alternate plan, which we'll go with it. Even if there's no plan. I mean, there's no plan as good as just taking it easy and not doing anything. So, ground rule is like, hey, you want to just do absolutely nothing? Took it easy and relax. Like, how could you say no to that? But we won't, I won't bring it up. We'll let Freddy play him. Override it. I started off with call, call my brother. I think he works at 9. So I don't think he's going to be... Um... Listen. Ignoring me. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three six zero four eight one four five nine. Uh oh. Oh, it's all Program. Hey, Freddy, how are you? Good. Tomorrow's Hayakuba. It's true. Are you Are you not working today? Uh, we pre should we prepare? Well, Anything? do you have any no. preparation? Because I, I kind of prepared. I have an idea. <gasps> What's your idea? Um, doing nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. That's easier than I was expecting. Yeah. Here's my idea. Well, I'll probably just relax because it's... We didn't do anything, now it's kind of late, and I think we can just take it easy, and if we make that the plan and lean into it, then we can really, I think it's something we can accomplish. Okay, I think we could do that. Uh, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to do nothing when you really want to, you're like, maybe we'll get a pizza. That's still pretty relaxing. Yeah, I think we could even, we get pizza, we could even just get regular slices. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe sure. if we could find that sign, you could you could be here. Yeah, I can find the sign. I'll be there. I'll definitely be there. Yeah, you can show it. up. Well, maybe we could find the sign. If not, you know, take it easy. Get some pizza. Chill. Cool. I like it. Hey, I was my big... It's what the past us would have wanted us to do. Yeah. This is my big plan. I've been... Like, it's been about two days, and then, like, I had... I, I came to this idea, like, two days ago. Okay. Cool. And then I was like, hey, what if... Here's my big plan. What if we don't do anything at all and just relax? Yeah, I like that. I like that. It's achievable. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, I'm glad you agreed. I was about... Like, uh, right before I called you, I was like, let's see if... Freddie has a better plan. Oh, not really. Uh, not one that's as relaxing or feasible. Good. Uh, thinking. Uh, okay, good. I'm glad that you. Day, uh, organizing, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. No, just we're gonna relax. We're gonna take it easy. Maybe we'll find the sign. Do you know where it is? Uh, somewhere in the studio. I think I can find it. It's right behind something or under something. We'll look for the sign. Maybe all, even on the program, we'll look for the sign. That's a good idea. Whatever it is, we're going to take it easy. We'll be here around, you know, 530. Perfect. Uh, relax. Hey, I'll, I'll, bring the, I'll bring the dog. Oh, yeah. The dog and some and dog. pizza. Yeah. It'll, it'll be great. Great. How, okay. how are yeah, you doing now? What are you doing down. now? Rainy day. I'm still at rainy day. We're about to close the... Oh, um, okay. That's close. Almost over here, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do kind of want to go through the boxes. Are you doing that at Rainy Day? Yeah. You think we should, um... I have another... I just... I have, we have a lot of VHS that we got. And I have a lot of stuff that we're not going to be able to sell, so... You think we should bring the... Can we bring the keepers? Should we bring the keeper boxes, like, in? And... Is that part of your job? <laughs> yeah, I guess we could the, the, what, bring them to rainy day and then sell them? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we could. I guess why do we have them, really, but, you know. I mean, cool. I want to put them on my shop. Maybe we'll go through them and then it'll be like extra keepers, which I'm actually going to keep, and then bring the rest of them there. That's a good idea. All right. I mean, I could easily, yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Hey, good, good plan. plan. Good plans all around. Hey, I, I guess we're, we're closing. We just brought the sign in. So I bet you better work. Good. All right, bye. Yeah. All right. Bye. bye. Hey, that's a good plan. You better work. Uh, no, I'm on the out on the prairie. Don't go to Narai. Bye, future. Yeah, good advice. Stick with Far East. Hey, future, it's us. The past. It's Monday. It's Hayakuba Eve, and uh, we're gonna take it easy. I'm eating Far East, and uh, thank you for this last year. Tomorrow's real New Year's. Bye, future. All right. Well, let's take a look at this. Um, uh, the last two weeks here. We'll look at the last year. And uh, oh my God, how long have we been doing Hayaka before? What's in there right now? Oh, the last year already. This is last year. Freshman. Was it four years ago? Maybe. The path. We didn't say the future, Mr. Gensu. Mr. Gensu. Mr. Gensu was around in September cards. last year. Uh, he's there. We're talking about what? I don't like talking about the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, future. I don't know what he went away. Hey, future, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's a Yakuba Eve. We got Mr. Gensu here. We're doing the numbers. It's nothing. Um, 
Did we move? So that was something before it uh, turned out to be nothing. Did we rebuild? Oh. Bye. Show's oh, over. Bye. Oh, show's over. Wow. Lots of excitement going on in the house, believe. Man, we should try to call Mr. Gimson, maybe spiritually. I'm calling out to you, Mr. Gimson. You dead? There we go. We the last two weeks. Um, we're more than two weeks into September now. Uh, it's 14. So three days after probably the third. September 3rd starting. Ten days before this. Wednesday, mo Tuesday, Monday. Um, that's one week. One more week here. Let's see what we've been doing all this whole time. Looking at the white people whole movie tape. Well, but I say the third, it's actually the fourth. Oh man. What have we been doing the last two weeks? Future, it's just the past. It's Monday. It's Labor Day. Did you uh, see the surprise? What was it? Uh, see, is looking for a place to live, and the Smash Mouth guy is dead. And uh, one day at a time. Surprise movie. Bye, Future. It was not good. I'm not disturbed. Hey, future, it's just the past. Uh. We have a future. It's a perfect day today. Oh, it's yeah. The weather is really perfect, and the yellow fellow's on the phone, and uh, person I trained just really is dead. My future. Hey, future just the past. Hey, future just the past. Hey, oh, well, give her a hot. Huh? 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 Give a hot dog to a dog, because it might get. Hey! 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 Cooking with sauce. Tacos. I like cilantro, like cow My future. Hey, future. Hey, the future. It's us, the past. It's Saturday. Hey. Hey, what do you have to say the future? Um, I, what are you still? You got married today. I hope it's going good. Don't go to Nebraska. Put your cowboy boots no. outside your, inside your pants. Bye. Um, pants. Not bye. Bye. Bye, uh, future. Bye. Hey, future. It's us, the past. It's Sunday. You have Zine Fest. Do you like Zine still? We're still looking at this tape. White people, uh, home movies. Well, we're supposed to take care of He's not happy at all with this. Did you watch that? It's Sunday, and bye, future. Bye. Future's just the past. Hey. We have to say the future. Not shit. Nothing. I never do. James is here. It's 9-11. <clears throat> Bed, bath, and beyond. Oh, yeah. Should we call James? Uh, never forget. Bye, future. We'll call James after this. Since the past, Andrew didn't want to be on the message. The future is in the bed. The what? Motherfucker. Fish sauce. Pizza. Tuesday. <laughs> Fish sauce pizza. Bye.
future. Hey future, it's us, the past. It's Wednesday. Did you macaroni salad? Did you find a fork? Did you do the five French existentialism exercises? Uh, to like uh, staycation by future Wednesdays. Future test the past. Hey, how was that MGMT music video? Did it give your life uh, <coughs> meaning? Did it fill the void? Uh, don't smoke meth and uh, that's it. Time travel Thursday, Twitter, bye. Yeah, time travel Thursday is the worst. Future. It's us, the past. It's Friday. Friday. TGIF. Oh, yeah. You got lamb. Is it Friday in the future? You got bean sprouts. Have they eradicated Fridays? Did you drop a baby? Did you burp a baby? Did you make it? Uh, Friday, oh, it's a uh, culture person in the summer. Bye, future. Bye. The future is just the past. Crazy traffic, did you finish your um, square? Did you make it? It's sorry. I'm still working on it. Hour and a half to get to Tacoma, bye. Hey, future. <laughs> future. What do you. What it's past. It's past. What do you say, future? Yeah. Um, hey, future. Good day to um, talk to you. I miss you. It's, Love you. It's Sunday Towers in Detroit, something like that. Uh, no, I'm on the out on the prairie. Don't go to Narai. Bye, future. Future, it's us. The past. It's Monday. It's Hayakuba Eve, and uh, we're gonna take it easy. I'm eating Far East, and uh, thank you for this last year. Tomorrow's real New Year's. Bye, future. Bye. I guess we'll call James. Oh, where is he? I think I got this one. Suspected spam. Yes. Confusion. Okay, bye. Bye. Sure, it's us the past. Here we are. Oh. The last, we're here. It's the last day of year eight. No, anyway, it's the finale of the year. Last year nine. Last year year ten. Year ten. Yeah. Starting year ten. Wow. Not, with it yet. Not a good no. year. Okay, we have. We, we change the mixer. We look back into the past. Oh. Uh, we got those boxes. James, mm -hmm. it's a program. Oh, are you there? Uh, hold on. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You can? Yes. Okay, cool. What's up? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Hey, good. It's Monday. It, oh, yes, it is Monday, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what day of the week it is most of the time? No. What are you doing? I'm in my storage unit. Oh, yeah, you got time to chat? Yeah. We got 25 minutes. What are you, what are you doing? In, you ever hang out in there? What's that? You ever hang out in your unit? Um, I'm not hanging out. I'm trying to organize shit. Is there a, how big is it? 10 by 10. That's pretty small. Oh, that's pretty big. medium. That's medium. No, that's pretty decent. You had a it's, chair? I mean, I've been into an apartment for smaller than this year. Smaller than 10 by 10? 
Almost. They're basically the same size. Yeah, where, who's that? Where, in Seattle? Yeah, they call them a podman. Is it pod? Where do you, it's like, like, uh, Tide Pods? Where do you, mm. where, that's just like a bed. I mean, that's like not even, it's like barely the size of a Some bed. Like, they're literally just a bedroom. Some of them don't even have kitchens or bathrooms, they share. I mean, 10 by 10 is like barely enough room for a bed. No, it's not room for a bed. It's like a, this is like a decent sized bedroom. A bed is like, I think. A bed is like 5 by 6. six, by six. six or more. Maybe. No, not 5 by 6. Uh, 2 by 6. Well, 2 by 5, two, maybe. 2, two feet? <laughs> 2 feet wide Why, and 5 yeah. feet long? A twin bed, maybe three. Yeah, but it's got to be more than five feet long. You got to be able to lie down on it if you're like six foot. I'm, I'm, I'm too big for beds. Well, okay, maybe five and a half. I'm too big for some beds, though. I'm too uh, long for some beds. Yeah, how tall? You tall? You're tall. Ten, six feet it would be. Yeah. Huh. Well, is uh, you, you have a chair in there? Oh yeah, I got a few chairs. I got um, I've got it set up. Well, movies. I can clean up. It's just so full of shit because it's like old clothes. That's what the biggest problem is. I'm trying to sort out the clothes and get those put away so that I have more space. And then, uh, yeah. I even have a blow-up mattress in here that is like set up. It was blown up, but it's not like laying out. It's, I put it up on the side. Yeah, you crash that? I don't sleep here. Like, oh. No. That's not allowed. <laughs> well, yeah. And I don't do it anyway. You know anybody that does? No, but I'm, I suspect there are some people here who do. Yeah. Because they're... Because I am here till closing a lot, and, um... They are... You know... Still here when I'm leaving sometimes, so I'm like, hmm. But... I don't really know. What about those... Those pod apartments? It's like, uh... Like... Pod hotels? Capsule hotels? Kinda, yeah. And then you just open the door, and then the bed's right there? I've been in... Huh? Where do you, uh, where's the bathroom? They share them. Oh. So in the hallway, there's some, like, some of them are like that anyway. Not all of them. Some of them have their own. But, like, in one of them I went into, the bathroom was, like, literally just a toilet and a drain in the floor and, uh, um, and, uh, um, shower nozzle. And then the... No. So you're, like, taking a no, shower no, in the no, toilet? The whole room is just one small little hallway with the toilet and the shower nozzle and the drain. So the toilet is like in the shower? Yep, basically. So if somebody's taking a shower and then nobody else can use the bathroom? Yeah. And the, but you, but there's no, what about the walls? Is it shower I walls? Have a, like, no, that's in a, Like tiles? The, the, the toilet and bathtub are separate rooms. It, it's just literally like a two, like a door, door size, door length, door, door size wide. And then, like, maybe five feet long. Hmm. Um, it's like a long closet. And then where... In Tacoma. In Tacoma? Oh. I mean, that like, sounds yeah. kind of fun. I want a bedroom like that. Like, my, I want a small room that is bed-sized, but then I want a house. <laughs> I want it uh, in my own home. <laughs> yeah? Like... So just, you can wear a closet. Yeah, I just want to open... I want a room... Where the whole room is the bed. Yeah. Like, and then, like, there's only, like, walls around it. You, like, open the door, and you have to, like, take off your shoes, and then you get, and it's, like, only the bed. And then you can't get it, like, to get out of bed, you have to, like, leave the room. Yeah? Yeah. That's my... Sounds, um... Sounds what? What? I'm gonna That's build it. Dream? I'm gonna build it. Um, sexual. <laughs> Yeah, you think so? Like a sex thing. That's like, that's yeah. where that's where you thought you think about that about everything probably. What? You always think that. Well, I feel like I've heard like let's say things like that before, so that's why. Well, we, <laughs> I don't really want to get into that's it, but I don't know not. what you would do in a room like that. That's small, like what that you would do in a bigger room. Seems like the bigger room would be um, more like that. Well, if it's all bed though. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I do. I wasn't thinking about the size. I'm just saying all bed. Yeah. All right. 
Um, that part, anyway. But it's for sleeping. It's for sleeping. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, storage unit, did you, uh, did, did you, uh, get around? What did you do all week? I, um, I talked to you last week. I thought I'd call you this weekend. You know, today's, uh, you know what today, tomorrow is? What's that? You don't know? No. September no, 19th. It's Oh, yeah, you did tell me, you mentioned that. I still don't, I don't remember what it is, though. <laughs> I told you last week and every year and you don't know still? Nope. I remember the name. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Anyway, it's our yeah, big. It. It's the program holiday. It's tomorrow, and uh, we're gonna be eating oh, pizza. It's the program's made up holiday. Yeah, it's the program's made up holiday. It's tomorrow. Oh yes. Okay. And then never mind. I do remember it. I just never remember the name. I, and it sounds like Japanese or something. So I, I like assume it's some of the shit you're telling me about. Yeah. No, it's not Japanese. I made it up. Okay. It's not. That's yeah. Clever. It sounds. You trick me every year. <laughs> it sounds moderately Japanese. Yeah. Um, but it's uh tomorrow. I'm gonna get pizza. Okay. I'm gonna get pizza. pizza. You don't do the pizza every day anymore, huh? I do the. I know. I still eat a lot of pizza. Yeah. I eat pizza like probably three or four days a week still. Yeah, but didn't you like pretty much every day when you started the program have pizza, have old school pizza? I don't think I ever was doing it every single day. Oh, it just feels like every day. Uh, that was when I used to go in, and I remember you always had pizza. Well, uh, they have, like, weekly specials that change around. Uh -huh. So uh, it's possible. Uh -huh. Like, I like to go there um, definitely on Thursdays. Oh, yeah. Mon I like to go there on Mondays and Thursdays for sure. I guess I didn't go today. Oh, uh, okay. I should have gone today, actually. Gotcha. They have the, um, they have the, like, the classic pepperoni sausage onion pizza today. Oh. And I like to get it, but um, I didn't go today. I had Far East. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fancy. Yeah, Far East is good. Um. Well, what'd you do all week? Work. I've been working uh, a lot, mostly. Um, and coming down here, um, and trying to organize this, but. Is it every uh, day? Yeah. What? Every day you go and organize your storage unit? Not every day, but I do come almost every day. I've been, I've been trying to also downsize my, my crap, my, that I carry with me everywhere. So that's um, been a challenge. How much do you carry around with you? Well, if I'm not coming back here every day, like, kind of, you know, a few pairs of, you know, a few changes of clothes, at least, and then, you know, toiletries and sometimes food I mean you're usually a little bit of food anyways like you know a few pints of ramen and some drinks or something or a big water or something and uh um you know stuff that I like I have a bag full of like um a first aid bag and I've got like uh what else like right you know a little kit yeah is it, is it like a back Just like a what kind of backpack is this um, I usually have a suitcase type of thing or a duffel bag, and then I also have a bag. So I have my my big delivery bag, which I usually put some stuff in, and then I also carry a suitcase or a duffel bag. But depend, but like that's a pain in the ass on a bike. On a scooter, I can carry a lot, but on a bike, I can't carry that much. So that's been the challenge lately. Yeah, you're biking around with like three bags. Um, I well, yesterday I had a bike, a bag on the front and a bag on the back <laughs> of me. What? And um, that was not. That did not work out, man. Yeah, I guess you're. I mean, you're a a a vag that's a vagabond lifestyle. You know? What? Vagabond. What? Vagabond. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. Well, you can say that, or I don't want to say hobo with your bags. Huh? A hobo, like a like a. A traveling yeah real horrible. like with that with that with that you get, yeah we get one of those not, that's not a politically correct term hobo yeah that's um you know offensive apparently oh yeah to you because you're in the group you get, get but you get one of those sticks with a handkerchief on the end of it 
Yeah, I guess. Have you tried that? That you can carry around that? That's, That's a bag. Might be easy. What would be easy? The bag on the stick. Oh, that's not easy. No, have you tried it? Have you ever tried to actually tie one? I never tried it. Yeah, no, it's not that easy. You gotta find the right, the right stick. You gotta have the right kind of blanket, and um, and uh, or they use like a, um, a handkerchief, I think, frequently, and um, that's not very much. That's not very sturdy. And then you can't carry that much stuff in it either. So, uh, you tried it though? I don't know. I have tried to make one. Yeah, not lately, but I, like when I was a kid, I did. Like, cause you wanted to go escape from the, you wanted to go be, uh, get to get on the streets, and now you're living your dream. Yeah, run away and be the circus, join the circus or something. Yeah, now you're living your dream. No, I ain't joining no circus. Well, you're. <laughs> not my dream. That's you're right. running around with a, a bag. <laughs> well, everybody out here is like a circus. So there's there's a bunch of clowns. So there's no there's no elephants. Well, just a bunch of fat people, I guess. But there's a. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's no, this is not a little circus. There's not no clowns, no rodeo, no fucking fun most of the time, so. Yeah. Are you hanging out with yeah. the street people? With what? With like, with like other people, like street people that, that are just doing that thing? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, street people, you said? Yeah. I don't know that many street people, though. No. Uh, it's like, you know when you look out and then you see people like, Literally just like sleeping on the streets. That's What's like that? when you look outside, people are like in tents, like on in the city. There's like in a tent on the side yeah. of the road. Yeah. That's just like level one, you know. That. Like there's so many people that are probably just kind of doing what you're doing, which is like halfway. Yeah. Halfway life, like the people like so like there's so many more people than just like the tent people out there, you know. Yeah, there's a, every, a lot of people are just a few, um, you know, unfortunate circumstances away from living like that. Yeah. Well, I mean... Um, gen usually what really sucks is usually it's like health-related or, you know, family death or, you know, things like that. And that's what puts them out like that. And that's really shitty. Not because, good. You know, can you imagine like having a health, health problems and that causes you to have to sleep on the street? Like... You know what I mean? Like, everything just becomes too expensive for life, and nobody wants to take care of you, and, uh, you're... You know what I mean? Like, that's so shitty. Mm -hmm. You know what happened to me last night? I was waiting around outside somewhere, and the bus that I was on... I was just sitting on the side of the road, and it was, like, dark out. I don't know what time it was, like, 10 or something. And, um, the bus driver that pulled over, they were waiting at, a, at the light near me. They got out of the bus, they came over to me, and they gave me this Walgreens bag that was full of, like, um, you know, homeless, like, kind of a supply kit thing. And uh, they were like, oh, I think you could use this more than I can. <laughs> I was like, wow. Like, I took it, I was grateful. But, like, I can't believe that I'm that person, though. You know? Oh, um, no, yellow phone's gone. There was $20 in it, though, so that was nice. You ready to go? What? What'd you say? Oh, hello, yellow phone? There was $20 in it. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? <coughs> I'm okay, how are you? Good, I'm talking to James. James? Hey. Oh, James? Yeah, James. James. Yeah. Old, old school Dave? No, James. Oh, J oh, James. How you doing, man? I'm alright. How are you? I'm doing alright. Nice, nice to hear from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow, Yellow fellows just got out of a halfway house. Oh. Well, no, yeah. I, I was in a recovery house, and now I'm in another one. Is it a halfway house? That's what a halfway house is, alright? It's a little different. This is a recovery house. It's a little more lax. Oh, uh, okay. But you were you were in a halfway house, though, right? Huh? No, I was in a recovery house. Uh, I went from one recovery house to another. Leave. What, James? A halfway house is when you're coming out of jail. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Yeah. I think. I just got I just got my uh, four month recovery chip. Hey. How about Ooh. that? Did you... Did you move? What? Did you move? Did I do what? Move. Move? Yeah, I'm in, yeah, I'm in the same city, though. Did you go to your new place? <laughs> yeah, I'm in there. I'm in the laundry room in the basement right now. How is it? It's, uh... It's, it's nice. 
it's uh, it's not bad. It's what I would have hoped for, and clean, solid people holding hands seems like so. I'll do it. They're holding hands. So, did you did you uh, do you have a room, or are you still sharing a room? Uh, some mis- I haven't met my roommate yet, but the room is tidy, so that's cool. Do you just have one roommate now instead of like three? Well, it's the type of deal where it's like two rooms with a little curtain in the middle. <laughs> so like uh, a hospital? Yeah, kind of like a hospital. How, how, how many, what do you think the deme- dimensions of your bed are in feet? I don't know, but it's a tiny twin bed. What do you, what's the, what do you think the, like, you guess the dimensions? I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty bad with that. Just imagine a small twin bed that can barely fit. I want some number. I want numbers. I don't know. I'm 5'11", so how about that? And then you fit in the bed? Yeah. Your feet don't stick out? Um, no. You stretch that all the way? And then how much extra room do you have? Just enough. Like, so another couple of inches. So it's at least six feet wide, right? Or long? Uh, yeah. Six by three? I don't know. Um, Six by three. See, James? Six by three. Right? Hold on. Yeah. I, I was trying. To, I was trying to figure out the dimensions of a, of a bed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll say that. Six by three. Um. Yeah. So they still got the. Is it still a room with a with a chair with the chairs folding chairs in a circle? Um. Yeah. In the house. In the house. No. Uh, but I just went to a uh, a very classic. Like type of, like it felt like a very like AA meeting, you know, like church basement. The walls were yellow, like bad coffee. People were sharing incoherent rants about <laughs> their life and the sobriety and all mm. this shit. Some guy said he was missing his frontal lobe. I didn't know that was possible. You ever, J- James, have you ever sat in a room with, uh, huh? Oh, uh, sorry, I left for a second. I'm back, though, yes. Have you ever sat in a room with, in a circle with folding chairs and told other people about your issues? You think? Have you ever sat in a room in a circle of folding chairs and told people about your problems? Um, yeah, sort of. Sort of? At NA. Yeah, NA? Okay. Yeah. I guess it's supposed to be anonymous. I'm not supposed to be asking about this? What? Um, no, no it, you don't tell that, me. They that, 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 that would press radio and film. For any, re- okay. any reason at all, though, I'm not necessarily like that. I kind of want to, I mean, <laughs> if, I, if I just, um, I just, like, announce to people that I know and say, Hey, you guys want to get together in in a room with a hard floor with a bunch of folding chairs and sit around in a circle and and say w- w- how we're doing? You should you should do uh, recovery groups for sober people. You want to have a support group? Um, uh, it, it's a uh, it's like got the um, uh, <laughs> it's like a support group, but for um people who don't feel like they're having a lot of problems. Oh yeah 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 that's what I meant to say. Recovery groups for people who can handle their drugs and alcohol. Well. So yeah. you to point out their problem. Yeah, just find any problem. It's like I'm kind of tired. Wait. Well, how about a group where people who don't have problems you try to get them to <laughs> develop? Problems? You develop. Oh, everyone's got a problem. You say uh, I'm kind of tired and uh, I. Uh, There's nobody who doesn't have problems. Yeah. So you go sit in the circle. Tell tell me about. Whatever it is that you're having a problem that with. That sounds like a bunch of people who won't admit their problems. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I want to get a that group sounds of like people. people who won't admit their problems, not people who don't have problems. Um, 
There's no perfect person like that. I'm a little bit sleepy and I think I have a bad, uh, I don't have a great diet. I stubbed my toe and that's why I'm here today. Yeah. Oh, my toe hurts. Um, tomorrow's Hayakaba. Oh, that's tomorrow. I have to go up tomorrow. What time are you going to do the show? The same time? Yeah, regular time. Probably, yeah, 5.30 or 6. Huh? Alright. I'll uh, be here. I'll try to be here. We're, we're, we're gonna be here. Um, it's the new, it's a real New Year's, cause other New Year's, regular New Year's is dumb, so this is actual New Year's, and if you look out the window, it feels like it to me. Alright, I'll keep that, I'll, I'll adapt that mindset. Yeah, cause New Year's, yeah. regular New Year's is like in the middle of winter, you know, this, right now is the real time for New Year's. Is, is it always the 19th of September? Yeah. Alright. It's not uh, lunar or anything. I have a new nicotine pouch flavor. I was doing mint, but this flavor is just called Chill. Chill? Yeah, so, so you know what it tastes like? I'm going to do a, I'll do a product review here. Have you, have you tried these nicotine pouches before, James? Uh, is it like the camel snus thing? Is it sn it's not snus, it's something else, I guess. It's just the nicotine. Like camel snus? Like, there's no snus, tobacco in it. Not is snus, it, but snus. It's like medical. There's no tobacco in it? Well, well no, you can, you, there's no tobacco. But no, you can buy it at the No, I've never heard of such a thing. You can buy it from, from the convenience store? Yeah, that's where I get some. What's it called? It's called this one. Like, I kind of want to do it. Is it bad to get it to get into it without having to smoke okay, cigarettes? You're 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 gonna enjoy it. Yeah, you recommending you're it to me? You, you gotta fight through like the uncomfortability. What is it called? Like it might burn a little. Zin, Z Y N. Um, but can you get to fight through the nausea and the oh, uh, that's burning that's... sensation? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah? I don't want to fight through nausea. No, no, no. Here, maybe the first two. Yeah, I never had any of that. I never got that from because you're because I started with ultralight. Yeah, just because you're unfamiliar with, like, nicotine. Or not very experienced with nicotine. Um, I've had nicotine, like, a few times in my life. Um, but, uh... That's, uh... I don't know about fighting through nausea. I don't remember nausea. People are nauseous, or people uh, smoke. No, 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 no. I'm saying when you're doing like the stuff where you're putting like a pouch of, or a pinch of something in your mouth, it's like a little bit more intense. Than <laughs> it it makes you kind of sick, but it's worth it. No, no, no. But yeah, no. After a few times, it's real nice. Oh yeah. And then you get then you get to a point where it's just kind of sustains you, and that's less fun. Oh no. But that's where you, so that's where you try to space out. Okay. Well. Like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see the mystery movie after this, and I'm not gonna eat popcorn because I've been getting eating popcorn every time I go to the movies, and it's been making me sick. And tonight I'm not gonna eat it. Get get a naked a, a, a tin of uh, zin. So get some. Means. Get some zin. Huh? No, no popcorn. I'm announcing it. Wait, it's a mystery movie. Yeah, they've been showing mystery movies at my local theater. Yeah, so that makes you sick. Okay. That's kind of awesome. It is awesome. I don't know. Nobody knows what it's going to be, and then you show up, and then they just watch whatever they have. That's cool. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to uh, I need to unpack and stuff. But bye, well, James. The, pretty much the show's about over anyway. I'll see you guys later. Later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, James, the show's almost uh -huh. over. We only have like a minute left. Nice. Oh. Show's all the way over. Thanks, cool, James. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Here it goes. Yep. See you later. It's Monday. Thank you. We're on TCTV, Channel 22, 11, 30, 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, why is WM on YouTube? 360, 836-34. Calling the message. Get on TV. Yeah. 
www.hwm.com. Check it out. TCTV Audio Library. It's a good song. Thank you. TCTV LaBebe. Don't eat fabulous or books for a star video. Stop by come. Rebecca Mountain Broad Northwest, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, it's you are watching. Thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.